Hi, this is Brian Forster, and today we're exploring megalithic structures in and around Cajamarca in Peru. Now, this building is famous because it was where the Inca ruler Atahualpa was captured and kept by the Spanish colonials upon their arrival in Peru. You can see that the structure is megalithic and that the base may also be megalithic. In the vicinity, these two strange, almost perfect circles, what age they're from, I'm not sure at all. They could be colonial Spanish, but look at the very tight joinery of the stonework in this building. It's a volcanic material, not necessarily super hard, but there is absolutely no mortar involved whatsoever. And when we look inside, though there's been a lot of erosion to the surfaces, you can see once again it's megalithic. And here the lintel has multiple facets locking in to the rest of the wall, as well as on the left hand side, quite complex joinery. No mortar whatsoever, volcanic stone. And then a wooden lintel was put in to place here in the doorway, probably by the Spanish colonials. So as far as I know, this is the only megalithic building in Cajamarca, but it's pretty far away from the other ones that we find in the city of Cusco. And then out, actually in the city of Cajamarca on a high hill, this ancient uh, megalithic work we can see. This appears to be for the winter and summer solstices. They may be from the Inca time period or they could be much older. There you can see what is probably a sun symbol on the vertical surface. And of course, the sun and the movement of the sun was very important to the Inca because they were an incredible agricultural civilization. As well, in this location, this intriguing protrusion that looks like it's of a megalithic nature. What its function is, I have no idea, but it's located in the same area as the solstice marker that we just previously saw. And again, the weathering could indicate that it's far older than the Inca. There is an Inca construction right behind it. And then the staircase carved out of the bedrock. With some Inca construction on the top. This could be an Inca work. It's hard to know. Maybe megalithic pre-Inca or Inca. And then these series of flat surfaces, vertical and horizontal, also found in the same area. They as well may be solstice and equinox markers. We couldn't actually figure out what their original function was or who made them. And here I am just for a sense of scale. And now we're going to be going outside the city of Cajamarca. And here we find a site called Otusco. And this is an ancient cemetery. You see these holes, that's where the, the bones of an individual would have been placed after death. And it's actually quite a vast area. You can see numerous tombs here. 
Again, the stone is likely the same material. It's volcanic, as we saw in Cajamarca itself. And this is likely very much a pre-Inca construction. And here is a larger one in which a full body, mummified most likely, could have been placed. And this ancient cemetery covers quite a large area. So again, the name of it is Otusco, outside of the city of Cajamarca. And here again, a wall of tombs. And more. And even more. The cemetery covers quite a few acres, and these are carved into a lar very large series of volcanic outcrops. So again, this is called Otusco, located outside the city of Cajamarca in Peru. Here are upcoming events. In March of 2020, we'll be going to Egypt again to look at megalithic and dynastic sites. Right after that, we're going to Israel to look at some megalithic works and, of course, the holy sites. Then, late May, early June, it will be contact in the desert in Indian Wells, California. In June, as well, our annual Inti Raimi tour of Peru and Bolivia, including Machu Picchu, Pumapunku, etc. In August, our elongated skulls tour of Peru and Bolivia, with Nazca, Machu Picchu, Cusco, etc. And then in November of 2020, our annual Explore the Mysteries of Peru and Bolivia.